Hello and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today we're going to take uh, a journey down the route of AVB. AVB is a networking protocol for audio systems and we want to find out if we can join one of these which is a um, very nice PreSonus 16R. This is their rack mount mixer range and it's really clever because it's 16 mic amps in one rack U and it's got a full onboard mixer uh, with all sorts of goodies but all the I.O. is analog except for the aforementioned AVB. The uh, PreSonus is able to uh, send and receive digital audio in a network form over an, IV, um, an AVB port which takes a standard Cat5 uh, cable. Now um, there is a slight complexity in that the switch, if you were going to network these together, um, the switch would need to be an AVB switch. Unlike Dante, you can't just use an off-the-shelf switch. But the advantage to that is that it guarantees time synchronicity and indeed um, does proper protecting of your audio from uh, Ethernet uh, panics at higher workload and things. Anyway, this is the PreSonus and it's got AVB. What are we going to connect it to? Well, what we're going to connect it to, or at least try to connect it to, is one of these, which is a Motu uh, 112D. Now, Motu, um, like PreSonus, have been banging the AVB drum for a while and have got a fantastic range of devices uh, that sport AVB. And uh, unlike uh, PreSonus, uh, the clever guys at Motu have managed to get all the control stuff and the AVB audio down one network port. There's two on the uh, 16R. Um, this, is, this is a digital only device. Um, so wouldn't it be great if we could access 16 of those mic preamps and analog outputs on this otherwise fantastically flexible digital router that is the 112D. So that's what we're going to try and do today. We're going to do AVB, pre-sonus to Motu, and find out what's missing. So here we have the basic setup. The pre-sonus 16R is on the bottom, and the uh, network audio port, or AVB port, is connected by a single Cat5 to the network port on the Motu 112D. Now, um, you don't need a switch to connect two AVB devices together. Um, you need a switch if you want to connect more than two AVB devices together. So the system will very happily work on a point-to-point -point connection, which is what we're doing here. Now, in order to get control and other stuff in there, we need to connect uh, one of the devices to the computer. And um, uh, there's a Thunderbolt connection you can see on the 112D at the top, which is going to the Mac laptop. Of course, the flexibility, I, you know, I kind of knocked PreSonus earlier on, but the flexibility on the PreSonus of having uh, two ports, you can see there's a, uh, a control port there, is that that could be connected to our network, um, which would allow, allow us to do network control of the, of the PreSonus 16R uh, on an ordinary Ethernet network, while at the same time having the network audio separate on uh, the AVB connection. So here we are, we've got the two connected. Um, let's move on to the next stage, which is the software control. I've got Vox over there on the right, uh, standing by to play uh, a 10cc track. And I have selected the Motu 112D as the output. So I'm going to hit play on that. And that starts off uh, running. Now, this is just here to show you the discovery app. This is the thing that searches. Um, on your machine for a Motu device. And um, when it finds one, you can open uh, what's called Pro Audio uh, Control. Now, Pro Audio Control um, is a web app and it's being served from within the actual Motu device itself. Now, I think what I'll do at this point is uh, take a little bit of a closer look at some of the labeling so we can see what's going on. But basically, along the top, I have all my inputs to the device and down here, my outputs and the first 12 inputs over here are from the computer and if you've got eagle eyes you'll see that there's some signal on the first two channels. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see that. That's better. Now we can see that from the computer has got signal on it clearly and I am sending it, I'm routing it to AVB stream 1.1 and AVB stream 1.2. The, the audio in AVB is bundled into streams, and uh, the streams can have different numbers of channels in them, I think, but the most common is eight. And um, 
at the moment I'll show you now that I've got two input streams and two output streams so basically I've set it up to take 16 AVB inputs and 16 AVB outputs. Um, as you can see here uh, you can vary the number of streams and as I say I've got two and two selected. Now we'll take a quick look at the device tab settings these are all important. The, the device is selected from up there and you can see that the Motu can see um, two devices can see itself and it can see the Studio Live 16R. Um, you want to check the sample rate and you want to make sure that the 112D is the master clock. Back to the routing page now and we can see that our audio is arriving from the computer and we can see it's going um, to the AVB output streams and therefore if all is well it should be arriving at the PreSonus 16R. Let's have a look at the 16R's interface to see what's going on. Here's Universal Control, PreSonus's interface to their mixing systems. And you can see quite clearly we've got some audio arriving on that channel there. The question is, where is it coming from? Well, if we look up at this section here, we'll look at the input routing and we can see that the right hand channel is coming from uh, AVB. That's a symbol for AVB, that little computer network. And the left hand channel is coming from AVB1. So it looks like our audio is arriving nicely um, at the uh, Pro Control um, app, the Universal Control app. So if I just unmute that channel, maybe you can even hear the dulcet tones of life as a minestrone. And um, at the same time, you might just see in the bottom left hand corner, I've got a mic plugged into the um, PreSonus uh, in order for me to do the reverse, which is to see if I can get access to the mics on the 112D. Let's just stamp, stop that a second and uh, move into some of the routing functionality within the, pre, the, the PreSonus Universal Control that allows us to get to this point. If we click on the gear icon up here, we arrive at the uh, sort of settings page of the uh, Universal Control app and there's the whole device settings and here I should point out you need to have network stream enabled for your network clock so that basically means that the PreSonus is taking its clock from the Motu. Um, in here you'll find that actually nothing very much seems to show up, inputs are not available, there doesn't seem to be any indication of the connection and uh, that disheartened me uh, for a while until I realized uh, it didn't seem to make much difference. The key thing is to go into digital patching. Here we have our inputs, uh, our channel inputs to all the, the mixer and along the top are the possible sources. So um, we've got analog, we've got AVB, we've got USB and we've got SD for the SD card. And uh, channel 1 is getting it from analog, you can see over there channel 2 from analog, but channel 3 and 4 are getting a network connection. And um, if I look at input patches, then what I've done is I've sent AVB 1 and 2 to every input. So that means when we were looking at our input source, that means that network in this context will be 1 and 2. So that's the setup that allows us, if we go back here, to get beautiful music from um, AVB, over AVB, from the Motu, from the laptop, ultimately to the Studio Live. Now, of course, the connection between the Motu uh, app hardware and the PreSonus hardware could be up to 100 meters of standard Cat5. How cool is that? Well, funny enough, that was the easy bit. What seemed much harder, let me stop the music, what seemed much harder initially was how do I get the audio from the, 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 or the inputs to the PreSonus to appear on the Motu? Because, um, as I said, when we went into network here, uh, there just didn't seem to be any way of we went I went into stage box setup and the output streams were listed here and there was none and um, the sends I could send here but it still didn't seem to have, have any way of sending it to where I wanted it to go and in fact all the heavy lifting can be done in the Motu app and so that's where we'll go next. Now this next stage had me stuck for a while and uh, I've got to say thanks to the very helpful people at Motu, Jim Cooper and Brian Choi, who helped me out at this point. And it really is very simple uh, from the Motu app. 
down here you have devices and alongside the 112D which of course is the Moto device we've also got the Studio Live 16R. Now you press that button you think oh no routing isn't supported on this device but actually that just means you can't control the internal routing. What you can do is connect the AVB outputs of the 16R to the return streams to the 112D and we can see those settings down at the bottom of the window here. So now I'm going to go back into the routing section of the 112D, shout into my um, uh, microphone that's co connected to the 16R and see what happens. So now um, what we're looking at here is the uh, AVB returns from the Studio 16 Studio Live 16R and we can see as I'm talking that the uh, Audio Technica uh, 2300 mic, which is a great mic by the way, is uh, being picked up at the uh, 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 PreSonus end and is being transmitted over AVB back into the Motu 112D. All by the magic of AVB. How, how good is that? What's missing? I did say we'd ask that at the beginning. Well, it would be nice, I think, if I felt more comfortable about having access to some of these settings within the PreSonus app. I mean, obviously, it's great to be able to route both ends um, from the Motu app, uh, but that's, that's, a, that's a little bit of something missing. I'm still not absolutely sure about the clocks and uh, 48, 44, which, which seems to work even when one is set to one and one is set to the other, and that can't be right. So that, and that, but that may be missing in my knowledge rather than missing in, in uh, real life. And other than that, I haven't got any complaints. There's not much missing. It does seem to work. It's easy to configure from the Motu end. And hey, I can, I can use my uh, 16 analog inputs and, and analog outputs on my ProSonus Studio Live 16R with my Motu 112D over AVB. I'm going to sign off with the proof of the pudding, which is the microphone plugged into the PreSonus Studio Live 16R, uh, routed over AVB into the Motu, and then out of the Motu on, by Thunderbolt into the Mac. And here it is appearing as a source uh, for DP9 to record. So that's it. AVB hardware between uh, PreSonus Studio Live 16R works uh, fine. Um, the Motu app has got more control. Uh, I hope uh, PreSonus will address that. I'm sure they will. And uh, it's, it's fantastic. You can have the best of both great companies' products. So uh, what's missing? A few little niggles on the software side. I haven't thrashed the hardware, so I'm not guaranteeing that your concert will uh, stay up, but it's uh, been okay for me so far. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this PPM6 TV video. Do come back soon. Bye for now.